Hi friends, this is Rohit Gupta. In this session, I am going to show you how to create the AWS instance using the command line interface uh, in Windows operating system. For this, uh, we will require few things to configure. First, we'll proceed with the installation of AWS instance. First one is the VPC, which is Virtual Private Cloud. So as virtual private cloud what it does it's it's dedicated to the AWS account and it's provided logical isolated environments in which we can run the AWS resources the resource could be the AWS EC2 instance okay second thing is we'll need to configure two subnets third step is to configure one of the subnet which we will create we're going to make it public subnet so that it can access, it can listen the public um, incoming connections. And fourth step is the key pair, which our AWS instance will need. Fifth step is security groups. Security groups acts as a firewall where we can define incoming and outgoing connection for the AWS instance like HTTPS, FTP. There should there would be the port and the IP address which will want to allow to make the connections in and out to the AWS instance. And last step is the installing of the AWS instance. Okay, so here are the few commands which I have already documented and which we will going to run on the CMD prompt. Okay. Yes, so first one is to create the VPC. Okay, so this is a CIDA block, and uh, this is the address which I've provided. Okay, so let's copy it. Okay, so it will create the VPC for my account. So noted point is we'll need the VPC ID and this VPC ID will be required each and every time to configure the subnets. Okay. Everywhere. And even we can do one thing, control H. Okay. Let's replace it wherever it's residing and we will go to replace it by this. Okay, replace all. Wait. Okay, so now I'm going to create one subnet. Enter. Let's copy the second command which will create the second subnet. Okay. This subnet ID we will require because we will going to make um, this subnet ID to the public subnet. Okay. Okay. To configure one subnet to the public subnet. Okay. So for this we will need one internet gateway. Let's create it. Okay, so we will create the internet gateway, we will create the route table, we will um, assign this route table to one of those public, one of the subnet to make it public. Okay, now internet gateway ID, we will put it from here. Okay, we will create the create route table. Okay, okay, so uh, one point over here is if we run any command in, in AWS through AWS CLI, so if it is succeed, then it will not show you any output. Okay, so here as we see, there is no option, no output. Okay, we will need route table ID. Okay. 
so this is the route table id we will require this i will read intent gateway id gateway id we can take from here Mm -hmm. Let's copy, paste, enter. What else? Okay, so even so, once create this is command, so which we can show what is inside the route tables. Route table ID, we can get it from here. Okay, this is a public connection so because I have assigned 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 0. So that means it will uh, take any incoming um, IPs for our AWS instance. Okay, so it can listen any ports, any IDs. Okay, now what we'll do, we'll go into make one of our the subnet to public subnet copy paste it will show you the subnet okay so this is a subnet id so i am going to make this one to public so public subnet id so here is the subnet id and route table id is this one okay let's copy this so it will make this subnet to the public subnet Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is okay. So here, as we see, there is no output. That means the command has been successfully. Now, now till this part, this is done. Like we have created the VPC, we have created two subnets. We make one subnet to the public subnet. Now we will need key pair which will require for the instance and then security group okay so okay just copy it enter okay so this is already over there so do one thing key pairs key pair one so it is failed because I have all okay key pairs already exist okay do one thing AWS key okay since there is already um, key file over there and I got when creating key pair option the key pair just AWS home why it is failing again again Okay, let's read it.
okay why it was key failing because uh, oh again so okay so now i got what is the error because i keep changing the file name but I'm, i failed to change the key name okay keep yes if i do this then it should run the output text i mean which is redirecting to this location which is c it was home it was dot pam i was keep changing this but i failed i, I forget to change the key name which is data lewis i can keep here that's why it was getting failed again again okay so now the the file is created keep a file is created now we will need the security group okay just copy it paste okay security group we need the group id security group id okay so this is a group id created we will need this group id over here paste copy paste and subnet id which is required is the first one the subnet id just copy paste over here probably the security got my is having created yes and we have defined the ingress which is support TCP protocol and this is the the generic incoming connection IP address okay fine let's create the instance Okay, so as we see, the instance is created, but the country state is pending, which is it is still created. Okay, so now what we'll need to do, just take the instance ID. Okay, we will need over here. now we, we can see what is the instance attributes like groups ip address okay this, this is a security group group name okay code is 16 and running so that means in our newly created AWS instance is running okay reason is us east to be mm -hmm. public ip is this one security groups attachment id which is the internet gateway attachment id which we have assigned to another subnet network in the interface the first subnet this is the vpc id the status is in use eni interface id okay so we have 
disable the cloud monitoring cloud watch because we have not put any inputs for this so it's by default disabled this is the submit id aws hyphen key pair okay micro instance id image id okay so this is all about to creating the aws instance using the aws cli uh, hope you might have um, enjoyed by watching this video so the detail command which you can get by my own blog which is okay you can visit this uh, blog as well to to get all these commands copy you can copy these commands from there as well and you can create your own address instance hope you have liked this video thank you so much and have a great day bye take care